records, 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 fake, fake records, 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 records. What's up guys, this is my full review of Jelly Beans Build 14 by Beans Town 106 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. So if we go to about phone, you see that we are on 4.1.2. Get the little uh, Easter egg right there. Now, this comes with a custom kernel by the ROM and it is running the latest you know, update from AT&T with the 4.1.2. But one unique thing about this ROM is that it will work with Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, and T-Mobile and it's the same exact zip so just download the zip link below just install it and you choose what carrier files you need so for me I chose AT&T because I'm using AT&T Galaxy S3 but unique features about this ROM is that it comes with a jelly bean settings and under that you get ROM control so if you know AOKP you know that they have ROM control too but I like that you can choose a lock screen so you have the AOSP lock screen which you guys have probably seen right there you get a little AOSP where you can go to call Google now and messaging and then of course camera then you can go to unlock you have the LG Optimus I found this one kinda of buggy like I was kinda of hoping you would tap anywhere but you can only tap in the center and then you have to swipe to unlock it's kinda of a bummer but it's still a pretty cool lock screen you do have the Blackberry 10 lock screen so you see you just swipe up on that one like the Blackberry 10 of course Galaxy S3 Ripple, you guys should know that one, that's a stock Galaxy S3. And let's go to the Acer. It's just like a blinds mod, which I think looks pretty nice. But I just keep it on the stock. So if we go to custom toggles, you can get the advanced to S. And this is where you can choose your custom toggles. You can enable, disable, and you can also move these to anywhere that you want them. So if I pull this down, say you do not want Wi-Fi right there next to data, you can change it to where it's on the other side or vice versa and if we keep going you have clock style I like to keep mine in the center you have your AM PM you can choose not to show it or you can have small or the regular see up there I have the small and then the day of the week bring this up a little bit for you guys to see that Saturday 1.39 AM and you can also choose your battery icon one thing I noticed is that they have a crap load of batteries I'm not gonna go through all of these but I choose to use the AOKP battery if you can see that right there, it's the stock AOKP battery that comes on the ROM. But you can have it to where it's the blue one that comes on, you know, TouchWiz. You can have the blue AOSP circle, which is basically the CyanogenMod one. Bring that up closer to you guys. I'm not going to go through all those. If you guys want to see those, just flash the ROM and find out. <laughs> the keyboard icon is if you have multiple keyboards installed. Say you had a stock TouchWiz and the AOSP keyboard. A little IME, IME sorry, icon change will pop up there. You can long press volume to skip music controls on your lock screen. So let's go back. We have custom settings. Now, exposed framework installer, per app DPI, and exposed tweak box are all for the custom DPI actions on this ROM. If you don't know what you're doing, I don't recommend using that. But that's just so you can change the DPI of an app. So if you want to say Gmail in tablet mode, but you don't want any other apps in tablet mode, I recommend using that. Pi controls, pretty self-explanatory. I don't use Pi. I just accidentally denied it super user permission, so it's not going to work. But it's basically where you slide in and you get the, you know, the navigation bar on screen. I don't really use it since I have the actual physical buttons, but use that how you want to. You have OTA update, which is nice so you don't have to go and download the ROM by itself. And pretty much everything else is stock. So if you go down, see pretty much everything is stock. Now the TouchWiz launcher is modified, so it's 4x5. Let's go ahead and grant that super user permissions. And you notice that there is an AOSP theme going throughout the whole, you know, whole ROM. So if we go into the dialer, you see it is actually themed like the AOSP dialer. Messaging is themed. Contacts, I'm not going to show you those because I'm logged in. But if you go into the app drawer, it comes with a pretty minimalistic look. Like I said, everything is AOSP themed, so every icon is, you know, themed. You have the mobile hotspot with Verizon. You have the stock music player, pop-up browser, S memo. You have Super SU instead of Super User. You do have Torch, which is which is a nice feature, and you do have Torch on the lock screen. So if you need to use your Torch really fast, just press and hold Home, and 
you know, just un unlock it to, you know, get that to go away. You have the Jelly Bean Gallery. This is just stock Jelly Bean wallpapers. Pretty simple, pretty nice ROM. You have the Wi-Fi Tether. They give you a, custom, a lot of custom actions when you do install this ROM. So I recommend going to check it out. I'm using the Note 2 Gallery, which is an option. Again, go ahead and check out this ROM. I recommend it. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any more videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know anything else about this ROM, go ahead and leave me a comment below. And I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video.